Hi mga anak! Welcome back again to my channel. So, Sir Brian or Sir BJ is here. So, ang topic natin for today is isimula natin sa mga lessons ng Mathematics 9. So, grade 9 students out there, makinig kayo para mas matuto kayo sa mga lessons ngayong pandemic or so this new normal. So, lesson number 1, it is all about the illustration of quadratic equation. So, but first... Let's define what is quadratic equation means. So, quadratic equation is an equation of the second degree. Meaning, it contains at least one term that is squared. So, dapat daw ang equation natin, at least, so dapat may isa tayo dong naka-squared. Okay, so the standard form of a quadratic equation, so according to the definition, dapat daw siya may at least naka-squared daw ang term, ang isang term. So, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to 0. Bakit? Pag naging 0 yung value ng ating a, so hindi na siya matatawag na quadratic term. So, ang tawag sa kanya, ah, quadratic equation. So, ang tawag sa kanya ay linear term. So, ito siya. Yung ax squared, siya yung tinatawag na quadratic term. Si bx naman, siya ang tinatawag na linear term. At si c, siya ang tinatawag na constant term. Okay, now let's proceed to the examples of a quadratic equation. So, balik tayo sa definition ng quadratic equation. Dapat daw siya ay Ang pinakamataas daw na degree ng equation na yan ay second. So, the second degree. So, x squared plus x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, matik siya. Isa siyang quadratic equation. So, QE stands for quadratic equation. How about number 2? 3x minus 2x squared is equal to 7. So, matik dahil lang highest exponent niya is 2. So, check pa rin siya as QE. And then lastly, 2x squared minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation again. Okay. Pansinin nyo yung second example. Okay. Yung number 1, yung una at ang pangatlo, ay inaka-standard form. In the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay, yung example number 2 natin is in the form of 3x squared minus 2x squared plus uh, is equal to 7. So, hindi siya naka-standard form. So, dapat, lagi natin titignan, naka-standard form dapat siya. Naka-ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, let's identify the quadratic term, the linear term, and then the constant term. So, saan dito ang quadratic term? So, pag sinabi natin quadratic, ang highest degree niya is 2. So, ang exponent niya ay 2. So, lipat natin sa umpisa, sa unahan. So, negative 2x squared. How about the linear term? So, yung sumunod sa kanya, syempre 2, 1 na lang yung linear term. So, ang kanyang sign is positive, which is 3x. And then, the constant term. So, dapat, pag tinawid siya, tumawid sa equal sign, ang kakalabasan niya ay Mag-iiba ng sign. So, positive into negative is equal to 0. So, ang standard form ng 3x minus 2x squared is equal to 7 is negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, now, proceed tayo para malaman natin lagi, though lagi natin tatandaan, ang standard form ng ating quadratic equation. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now, dugtungan natin. Let's identify the values of a, b, and c sa mga example natin. So, number 1. Example number 1. So, x squared minus 5x plus 10 is equal to 0. So, ang a, tatandaan, siya yung numerical coefficient ng ating quadratic term. Ang B, siya ang numerical coefficient ng linear term. And then C, siya ang constant term. So, lagi yung ABC, numerical value yan. 
number. Hindi pwedeng ma- pwedeng mawala ang B at C. Pero ang A bawal kasi hindi na siya masasabi natin as quadratic equation. So let's identify what is the value of A. So ang value ng A natin is manggagaling sa ating quadratic term. So anong numerical coefficient ng x squared? So meron diyang uh, value na 1. So the invisible 1 siya yung ating value ng A sa x squared. How about B? Si B ay manggagaling sa ating linear term, so sa pangalawa. So, malalaman natin yung dapat lagi siya naka-standard form. Okay, value ng B is negative 5. Laging tatandaan kung anong sign. Kung anong sign, dapat dun yung mag-value. Pag positive 5 yan, magiging mali na kayo. And then, the last one, C is equal to 10. Yun ang ating value ng ating constant term. Positive 10, negative 1, and then positive 1. So, ganyan mag-identify ng values ng A, B, and C. Okay, example number 2. Meron tayong equation na 5 minus 2x squared is equal to 6. So, kung titignan, ang highest degree ay 2. So, masabi natin siya isa siyang quadratic equation. Pero, hindi siya sumunod sa ating rule na dapat siya ay naka-standard form. So, dapat nating rearrange ang kanyang form. Dapat siya ay maunang ax squared plus bx plus c. So, mataas ng degree 2, susundan ng isa and then wala na. Okay. So, in this given, ang pinakaisin natin is yung negative 2x squared. Hindi siya pwede maging positive lang. So, si, si negative ay nasa 2x squared. So, negative 2x squared. And then next, yung sumunod na exponent na 1, which is 6x. Pero positive siya. So, tatandaan, pag tumawid sa equal sign, magiging siyang negative. So, magiging negative 6x. And then, the constant term, the last term. So, positive siya, lalagyan natin yung plus 5 is equal to 0. So, ganyan mag-translate into standard form. And then now, what is the value of A? A natin, so numerical coefficient ng ating quadratic term, which is negative 2. B now is equal to negative 6. The numerical coefficient of the linear term. And then C, which is the constant term, is positive 5. Okay, laging tatandaan, dapat pag maghahanap tayo ng values ng ABC, sisigaruduhin natin naka standard form siya. AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to 0. Para mas madali nating makita yung mga values ng ating A, B, and C. So that's all for today, the illustration of quadratic equation. So comment lang kayo sa ating comment section kung, ano, uh, kung gusto niyo na ng kasunod ng lesson na to. So again, huwag kakalimutang isubscribe, hit the thumbs up in this video, and then don't forget to click the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa upcoming videos. Okay, maraming salamat muli. Sir BJ or Sir Brian is here. God bless.